Okay, so welcome back for the second part of how to make a cartoon in CS6 Photoshop. So for this part, we're going to be coloring our person. Anyway, first what you want to do is select the colors and the brushes you're going to be using. If you want to be really accurate, you could be using the uh, pipette tool, which selects the color for you. But since my picture is black and white, I can't do that. So I'm just searching for the right color. So then you just select layer, and you want to make sure you're painting on a coloring area instead of the original. Otherwise, it could mess up things. So here I'm just gonna select the outline and the magic wand to select all the parts I want to color in and then select the coloring layer start coloring it in with the brush you can enlarge the brush tool with the brackets on the keyboard with the square brackets here and then you just want to brush along all the areas you want to paint Some parts cannot be selected as the lines are not closed, like for example right there in the eye. So that's why I zoomed in and I'm gonna make the brush smaller and just paint it myself. What I did there was sample the color. You can also click Control U if you want to adjust the color. Since I could not find a better color, I'm just going to stick with the original one I had. Anyway, you can drag all these different uh, sliders to make change the color. Anyway, continue with the tutorial. When I finish off painting most of my areas, make sure you're not coloring area all the time. I mean, coloring a layer. What you do next is continue brushing all the way through. What you want to do is just finish up coloring everything you got. It's up to you how, how you do it. There's loads of different ways. But just make sure you do it on a coloring air, uh, coloring layer. Uh, see you then. So as you can see, I've finished coloring in. What I'm going to do next is going to make a copy of the original layer and drag it on top. And then I'm going to set the opacity lower. The reason why I do this is for the shadows and highlights of, of, of the coloring. This is to make it more realistic. You don't have to do this unless you want to stick with a solid color. But this is only for those who want to do shadows and stuff. So yeah, what you want to do next is make another copy of the outline and drag it on top of the copy of the original one. That way you can see the outline more clearly. And then what we're going to do is lower the opacity even lower for the original's copy. It's up to you how low you want to go.
and then to see to see the highlights more clearly you can use the dodge tool this is almost like a brush you just brush along the areas where you want it you also have to set the exposure this is how clearly you can see the burn or the dodge it's a really easy tool to use Okay, so this was dodge, and now what you want to do is burn. This is for the shadows. So, as I said, you don't have to do this song if you want to. And then that's it. If you, when you're finished, you just merge visibles or invisible. And then that's it. All you want to do next is just apply your background. You can do it whatever way you like it. You can make a new layer and just color it in. And I mean, paint yourself or just put an image as a background. And then that's it. Then you just save your image. Thank you for watching the tutorial. And if you have any questions, just ask me. And I will be happy to answer it. Thank you for watching.